So Taylor, let's get into it. Let's do it. When do you think shit's going to hit the fan? Because we've been talking about this for a few months now, and you're always like, it's two weeks away. And I'm like, oh, God, we got to get our stuff together. And I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying it hasn't happened yet. I think it's going to happen, too. Now, I have not said it's two weeks away. I probably have said four weeks, two weeks ago. Your gas buddy said it was two weeks away. He said he said he said a month. Oh, he did. OK. Yeah. When did you uh, say that, though? Um, when? Well, I mean, I don't think it'll really all the way hit the fan until 2022 next year okay why but why because because it, it'll just take a little bit of time for for the uh supply chain shit to fall all the way out mm. and for people to actually feel it um and i believe that they are getting ready to uh remove the dollar as the uh, global reserve currency and replace it with uh the imf's what's it called sdr mm. which is a bun which is basically a bundle of of five currencies the dollar the euro the the yen, yuan and a couple others and i think that that's going to replace the dollar as the uh global exchange currency and that will have That'll take a minute to stand up, but it'll also have a disastrous effect on our economy. Um, so why would they want to do that? One world government. Yeah. But what would be the benefit of that? The globalist. Well, because then you have the global elite banker class central with centralized control over everybody on a, on a digital asset because mm-hmm. i also think it will be it'll be digital and the way that that the uh, sdr is structured it's a basket of currencies so you can have this be the global reserve currency but it's 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 uh components are individual nations currencies so it'll be it'll be easy to convert back into whatever your dollar peso, whatever you're using, wherever mm. you're using. Um, also, it'll give it'll give them centralized control over the whole world through through their economy. If you're not playing by our rules, you get kicked out of the currency basket. Now you can't trade with anybody else because uh, it's. I think it's every country, almost every country in the world is involved in this. I guess I don't understand how that would work. It doesn't make Uh, sense to me. So the dollar's the the petrodollar. You've heard that phrase? No. You haven't heard petrodollar? Mm -hmm. So the the dollar is the the world reserve currency, which basically means any time a country wants to trade with any other country, like say Russia and China, Russia wants to sell China some gas or some oil. Mm -hmm. All the international trade deals have to be done in dollars. Mm -hmm. So China has to go buy dollars to buy the oil, right? And that's happening across the globe. And it has been for uh, decades, 50 years, maybe. I don't know. But um, what that's done is made the dollar in demand. People want dollars. People need dollars. That's the only way you can do international trade. When people don't want dollars anymore, right? If that rule goes away, then all these dollars that are running around on the international market will come home. And it'll be a massive flood of, of just extra currency and it'll cause it'll cause a lot mm. more well, it'll cause hyperinflation here. Yeah. Um, whereas we've been we've been able to sort of export our inflation because we've been printing a lot of money for a long fucking time. Mm-hmm. Um, but if it collapses the dollar, then wouldn't that make this um, centralized currency that is in part dollar weaker? Um, in part, it would, but mostly it would just give us our sh- the shit bag back. 
Wouldn't it do it the same thing to all of these other countries as well? No, because they're not going. They're not. They're not going to have the big rush of dollars coming back because they haven't spent decades putting their currency out there mm. for the world to use. So when we print money, a lot of it goes. I mean, most of our, I don't know if most, but a, a massive, massive amount of our um, tax money goes to foreign aid, which is absurd. But uh, what do you think happens to all that foreign aid? It's, it's out there, you know, it doesn't go to the people. It's not like anybody ever gets, here's your $500, here's your $500. No, mm -hmm. it goes to the leaders, it goes to the the senators here who voted for it you know but but yeah the point is we we've, we've spent decades printing money and then exporting it for other people to use when people are no longer taking our exported money and it all comes home we're just going to have a flood on the market so yeah to an extent it would also devalue the sdr but to a much much lesser one than it would devalue uh, the dollar individually and also, what they're dealing with is just the banking system has created such an amount of debt in the world with this money printing that it's it's uh, unavoidable. They're going to have to deal with it somehow. And so the way they're, my, what I think is happening is the way that they're going to do that is they're going to deal with it by primarily letting us handle it. And what do you think will happen to us besides hyperinflation? What's like the snowball then? I mean, between that and the supply chain thing. So if you give it, let's say it takes three months to stand up the SDR. I'm just throwing that out there. In three months, three more months of the supply chain issue. Um, if you've got, if then we're going to be out of stuff. We're going to be out of stuff. And we're going to have a dollar that's useless. Um, and we don't know how to, there's no manufacturing in America. I mean, there is some, but not really. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why I'm doing all the all the car stuff right now that I need to, because you won't be able to get these basic inputs. If you ha if you have a a country full of people with John Deere tractors, but they can't use them because they can't get tires. Yeah. You have a whole country that can't farm, can't feed itself. Um, then who knows anything, you know, anything could happen. Anybody could come in. China could walk in and say, Hey, <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck Canada could invade for all, you know, we're just, it does. I don't know what would happen from there, but it does leave us just sort of floating in the water waiting to be picked up by whatever boat comes by. Your personality is unique. It's hard to find someone that understands you. Try dating using personality type matching. Find out who you're compatible with using Myers-Briggs and Big Five personality scores. Download Type Match and start dating by personality type compatibility today. Type Match, available on App Store and Play Store.